Welcome to the fucking metaverse. The reason I got into programming was video games and GeoCities because I thought it was so dope I could create something on the internet that anyone in the world could see from, you know, as a high school, as a dorky high school kid in the suburbs of Maryland. Before long, I was stepping up in roles in my like Quake 2 clan to do web design and eventually start my own clan. And, you know, EverQuest was the next place oh, yeah. where I really understood the power of leadership and, and then community in a pseudonymous video game environment where, again, I, I mean, I officiated a, I was a bard. Me too. Put all, yes. Half-elf bard. Half-elf bard. Hell yeah. Ah! Wait, what? Oh, I'm you, sorry, you, I don't know. Yeah, there happened. we go. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> you, I, dude. That's, there were that's not. exactly what two ever that is what yeah. two that was exactly high what five do. yes supposed to look like that was very on brand <laughs> dude <laughs> okay wait yeah. hold on because one of the fun things no one liked being a bard and i was so proud of it because if you got good at juggling songs you know you could and, it, and this is minor dexterity but if you timed it well you could get certain songs three four at a time yep and it was a very it's like twisting back then yeah. yes yeah. oh my god and and there were so few people, play. man, oh, I'm still mad. I never got a full set of, oh God, Mithril? No, no, it wasn't Mithril. The blue, Lambent. Lambent. I never got Lambent a full armor. set of the Lambent yeah, armor. I, I only I got a couple never pieces. never got, yeah, a full oh, set of Lambent either. It was, God. yeah, you, you can, EverQuest really like, that's honestly what opened up, <laughs> just makes NFTs you oh, know, make sense to you. Makes For it me, obvious. Like, at least it was like, I was Chasing after pixels on a screen, yes, in a swamp dungeon, surrounded yes, lower by gook. frogs, yes, like, yes, you know? deep cut. So I think anyone who oh. played MMORPGs back in the day, whether it was Ultima, EverQuest, Star Wars yeah, Galaxies, if you anything pre World of Warcraft, really, but even World of Warcraft, even WoW, but yeah, you understand right. that digital scarcity model. You understand oh, yeah. the value of digital goods intuitively. Because oh, you're yeah. like that, it was so precious to you to get that armor, right? And it was and like so hard. I, I coveted it. Looked so it. dope. It, yeah. This was like very you know, blue, very deep blue, dope was, armor, and it was like <laughs> the original classic EverQuest, where there was like only like a couple hundred items. Period. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the stats on the armor too were like kind of not great. It was no, like the original, just like skin. They weren't it just great. Like it just flash. looked yeah. so dope. Yeah. And and you had this that this was when. I mean, I would go to school. I'd be saying, I remember, I never forget. I took the same, there was only one CS class in my high school. It was a Pascal class. And I took the same class almost every semester for like three years because the teacher was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Like you just sit in the corner and do your own thing. And I would, I would actually code, but I also would sit there with my buddy right next to me and we would plan our days in EverQuest. So we'd be in class planning what we were going to do as soon as we got home in this game. And that was the first, like that was when it also clicked for me that like the, and we talk about the fucking metaverse now, right? Yeah. Here was a world where I cared just as much. I could argue more Absolutely. about the time I was spending there than the time I was spending offline going through the process of school and, and life and everything. And it's, it it really I, I I genuinely did officiate a freaking wedding like I mean again through text and I played music even though you couldn't hear any of the music and my buddy who is the priest officiated it quote unquote um, or cleric I guess was back then um, and you know going through that experience I'm like okay this matters we're we're animated characters using fake names I don't know any of these people outside of their pseudonym outside of their avatar and yet. I have like a fairly strong relationship with them. I probably know what's going on in their life better than most of the people I casually interact with at school or when I'm older now at the office, right? And so for a generation of people, there is an appreciation of the digital goods and the scarcity and the work that goes into it, as well as the power of community, even pseudonymous community online. And so I, I think if I hadn't had that experience as a Quake 2 clan leader or an EverQuest guild leader, I don't think Reddit happens. I mean, someone else does it because that was a lived experience I needed to make it obvious that people would care this much. 